What's up, pranksters? How's it going? Now, in this video, I'm going to do something totally different, something that I normally don't do anymore, which I know I should because my channel is about pranks and hacks, but I haven't done hacks lately. So I'm going to show you five of them that you can do in class. Now, these are not meant to get you into trouble. I'm actually trying to help you guys for next time. Let's say you wake up late and you rush to get to class and you skip breakfast and obviously you didn't get to eat anything. So you got to eat during class and most teachers won't let you eat in class. Now, I'm not saying go and break the rules, but come on, man, you can't really learn anything on an empty stomach, right? So you gotta eat. So I'm gonna make it easier for you guys and show you a few ways that you can sneak food into class. Check it out. All right, let's get started with our first one. And for all these hacks, you're gonna need school supplies. So for example, this first hack, you're gonna need a glue stick. Preferably a large glue stick like this one, not the thin ones, because with this container, you can actually fit in more stuff in there. So we're gonna use a large glue stick. So begin to open it. As you can see, it's white. So we're just gonna twist it all the way till it goes to the very top. And once it gets to that very top, you can actually remove it. And this actually, when you twist it, it goes up and down. So you're actually just gonna have to get rid of the glue stick, but you're gonna have to save this. So just get a paper towel and break it off. And of course you're gonna have some residue, which you will need to remove also because we want this to be super clean. Of course, glue sticks aren't toxic, so you know you can just clean it off. It's not gonna kill you if you were to eat this stuff. Not, not I'm, I'm not saying you're gonna eat this stuff, I'm just saying that if you were to eat it or, or consume it, it, it wouldn't kill you. So try to wipe it off clean and, and also the inside you're gonna have to clean off. Now once you're done cleaning it off, you're only gonna need the cap, the base that actually twists on there and then of course the uh, container of the glue stick. This is the most important one. Now this is where you get creative and think of something that you can actually stick in there, something that you can eat later on, such as a snack or a piece of candy. You know, next time you're hungry, next time you skip breakfast and obviously you're on an empty stomach so you're gonna need calories. And for me, what better way to uh, get those calories than with some chocolate? And these are my favorite right here, Reese's. I've not really tried these uh, mini cups, but um, I'm guessing they're just as good as the big ones. And the reason why I chose these is because they're white. I don't know if the camera can capture the, the color, but they're white. The best part is that is that they actually um, fit inside perfectly. Look, look, you can see it's a, like a white color. So um, that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so just twist the, the base on there again, like that and then kind of twist it so it, a little bit so it goes down and then you're gonna stack a couple of Reese's mini cups in there like this twist it so it goes down and once it goes down the stick inside in the center is gonna uh, obviously it's gonna be in the way so you're just gonna push the mini cups so that it pierces through keep stacking more in there you're, you can actually fit about four or five, depending on how big the glue stick is. So, twist down and then push down. And then keep doing it until the whole glue stick's filled up. All right, so I was able to fit in four, possibly five if I was to squeeze them in there, but four will do. And as you can see, it looks like a normal glue stick, right guys? Watch. Compare it to the other one. Can you guys tell the difference? Obviously you wouldn't be able to tell unless you already knew beforehand. So anyways, you just put the cap on and then yeah, save it in class. So obviously don't need it right away. This will be like a backup. This will be your actual, your actual glue stick. So you just know which one is which. But yeah guys, save this as your backup. And next time you're hungry and uh, and you skip lunch or you just need one of these, you just reach into your desk and you know, grab this, take it out and then just push up. You'll have one. You eat this one pretty good and then you twist it back up. It looks like a broken glue stick. Yet you're, they still won't be able to tell it's actual chocolate. And the thing with this is that it won't attract any bugs because it's sealed. So this is like the perfect way to stash your uh, chocolates inside your desk. And again, your teachers or your uh, classmates won't be able to tell that this is not actual glue, that it's actual chocolate. So yeah guys, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys like this hack. Now let's move on to our second hack. 
Now, most teachers won't allow you to have any drinks in class except for water. So if you like Gatorade, Powerade, or soda, you can't really have that in class. And I'm, I'm sure I know why, because if you spill it, it gets sticky, it's harder to clean off, especially if there's carpet in the classroom. So yeah, I can understand that. But you know, sometimes you just gotta have this stuff to actually get the sugar to boost up your energy for the day. So a good way to sneak this into class is to actually sneak it into a glue bottle <laughs> yeah i know it sounds crazy but it actually works this is a non-toxic glue so if you were to eat this it's not gonna get you sick it's not gonna kill you but it does taste kind of nasty because you know i think we've all tasted it as kids well i don't know who knows i kind of did at some point i think anyway so you're gonna have to empty out this glue bottle um empty it out you can save it into a bag or something so it does not go to waste but as you can see you have to get rid of all of it the the most important part about this hack and and the most vital one is that you clean it very well so take it to the sink and spray out all that glue that's still in there until it's very very clean because you need this to be clean as well as the nozzle so the nozzle needs to be perfectly clean as well but this one since this is a brand new one it, it, the glue hasn't really touched the nozzle so this one is, is perfect so you don't really have to clean it but if it's been used obviously yes please wash it all right so i just went to the sink and i actually cleaned this as best as i could there's no glue inside it doesn't smell like glue anymore now all you do basically guys is you uh, crack open the uh the your favorite drink i'm gonna use powerade for this uh, demonstration and um, you know, you just fi fill up the the glue bottle with it. Oh, I'm spilling it. Okay, so I just spilled a few drops. But yeah, guys, once it's filled up, um, you know the bottle looks a bit darker, but that's okay. They probably think that it's a new kind of glue. So just screw the nozzle back on. And there you have it. You have yourself some Powerade for class. You're in class, right? You're in class. Uh, you're thirsty, and you want some of your Powerade. So you just twist the nozzle and then just put it in your mouth and uh, squeeze it and it'll come out. It might quench your thirst or it might not, who knows? That's up to you, but this is just one way that you can actually sneak in some Gatorade or Powerade or even soda in there. No beer, guys, remember that. No, no beer, it's not for kids. But yeah, this glue, this glue bottle is perfect for uh, for drinks as you can see it's kind of small so if you get yourself a bigger bottle obviously you'll be able to get more out of it the larger the glue bottle the better for this third one you're gonna need a binder like this one so open it and it's gotta have the rings it needs to have at least two this one has three so that's perfect a piece of cardboard paper like this one will also be needed and uh, you know you might have to cut it to size it needs to fit at least two of the rings so if there's only two rings and you know it has to be longer but since there's three i only need it from this end to this end right here which is the, the second ring the middle ring but once you get your measurements done just uh, begin to cut away and that's what i'll do right here i'm just gonna cut off a piece what you're gonna do guys is actually roll it up so this is the cylinder that you're actually gonna fit inside the rings not not yet though but yeah it's got to fit the rings because the rings will actually keep it in place so once you get the right the right size just apply some tape to hold it together uh, get yourself a piece of tape and wrap it around your little cylinder i'm actually gonna use three this cylinder you're gonna fit inside the the rings like this but before you do that you're actually gonna cover the bottom and for that i'm just gonna use a little bit of plastic wrap so not much is needed actually so just uh, cover one end of the cylinder like this and then again use another piece of tape to hold it in place it's just as simple as that it doesn't take much you can prep this at home obviously you're gonna have to because you can't do this in class it shouldn't be that hard all the stuff that you need for this for these hacks you should already have either at home or at school but yeah guys so you got you sealed off one end and the other end is pretty open um you can actually seal off half of it or all of it and cut a flap but i'm not gonna do that and the next step is to actually fill it up with a snack and obviously the snack will be your choice as for me i'm gonna use some trail mix because this stuff is really good it's meant for people that are hungry so you know just uh, open it and pour some in there it might be kind of tricky to get it in there so you might want to pour, pour some onto your hand and then you yourself just uh Put everything in there 
So fill it up to capacity. I mean, depending on how hungry you get in class, but this will always be a, a backup to have. Just enough room for one more peanut and that's it guys. Look at that. You got a bunch of snacks right here. Put it inside in between the rings like that and then close it up. Just like that guys. Just like that. I know it looks weird, right? But yeah, you can't you can't be using this. So if you have your papers, you might have to put them into the inside the pockets right here. This will look as normal as any other binder. You gotta place this at an angle so your teacher doesn't suspect a thing. So for your teacher's view, it should be this. For your view, it should be like right here and maybe your, um, your classmates' view is this. So what you're gonna do is just pick up the binder like this and then when the folder is up in the air, you're just gonna tap it like that. Get yourself a little bit of trail mix eat it might actually just give you enough energy to get you through that class and then hopefully you can make it into lunch and and then that's when you eat but yeah guys this is a hack you can do for class next time you're hungry this is just to keep your snacks in there but remember that when you pick up your folder you kind of tilt it so it doesn't really spill the contents onto the floor and that's it guys do you guys know what this is right here have you guys seen it before I got this for 50 cents at Walmart and actually this is a pencil holder so it holds all your pencils all your writing utensils anything that uh, like pens and uh, maybe and crayons as well you can actually slide it out and this is what it looks like like a little coffin then you slide it back in just to help you be more organized well we're gonna take advantage of that and use this to sneak in some food into class all right so you're gonna have to empty it out so get rid of all those nice pencils that you might have in there. Should be empty like this. You're also gonna need some crayons, like these. So open up those crayons. Uh, you know, get the colors that you don't really like because you're gonna have to um, damage the crayons. They won't be good anymore. Or, I mean, they might be, but you know, nobody would wanna use them after this. So get about six maybe seven crayons crayons you can fit in there maybe eight yeah i'm gonna use eight so you got eight crayons in there well you can actually leave the crayons as they are but i want to fit in a hot pocket you guys know what a hot pocket is they're really good so um i'm gonna have to cut some of these crayons in half or all of them actually so that i can fit in my hot pocket so just take a blade like this one, take a blade and then cut them in half. Uh, it's sad, I know, but it's gotta be done. So here's the crayon right here. And then do the same for the rest of the crayons. Once you've cut those crayons, actually you just need the tips. You're gonna keep them together with a piece of tape. So just put a strip of tape on them to keep them together and then you know also the back just like that and yeah look at that doesn't look bad at all right guys and then you're gonna put these inside but you're gonna attach them with a double-sided piece of tape just to keep them there and just place the pieces of uh, crayons inside okay so next you're gonna need a piece of cardboard now this i got from the last hack so you know no worries there it has to be the same height as the pencil holder so you know try to match the same height and then just cut away all right so you got your little strip like this it's gonna be a separator uh, a divider actually the divider will, will divide the food the snack from the crayons because you don't want those mixed together believe me you don't it will not taste good so bend it and then bend it again right here doesn't have to be like perfect perfect but you know, try to do your best secure it on with a piece of tape that's always helpful and then do that to the other side but really guys you don't you don't have to um, cut the crayons if you don't want to that's my personal choice because I want to fit in a hot pockets I love hot pockets and if you're really hungry and you're in class um, you want to eat something good all right so the hot pocket let's pretend it was in my lunch bag I already heated it up at home all right here's a hot pocket it actually looks like, like a burrito but oh, again you can also put in a burrito there if it's flat enough so here's a hot pocket you place it inside the pencil holder like that and then guys all you do is just slide it in 
like that. And no, that's not what she said. <laughs> clip it, because that's got a, like a little clip. And that's it, you got your Hot Pocket in there. Or it could be cookies, it could be popcorn, it could be chips, it's all up to you. Again, my personal choice was to put a Hot Pocket in there because I love this stuff. All right, so here's the example. You're in class, again, you're super hungry. You skip breakfast again, like usual. So your Hot Pocket, you actually took it out of your lunch bag real quick and put it in there. So during class, unclip it, then you slide the pencil holder the other direction, like this. You don't have to reveal the whole hot pocket, but just enough, and then you pick at it. You know, you eat it little by little. And let's say your teacher's like, hey, what are you doing? You know, you, you slide it back in real quick. And your teacher comes over and he or she will ask you, hey, well, what's, what's in there? Oh, it's just my crayons. And yeah, just your crayons. Look at that. Of course, you're not gonna pull it all out because it will reveal the hot pocket, but yeah. These are just meant for um, to show them that the crayons are in there and that it's just a normal pencil uh, crayon holder. Just like that, guys, you just ate a Hot Pocket in class. I don't know if you guys remember one of my previous videos where I did five book pranks and I actually ended up using this Twilight book. I felt kind of bad because it didn't really do much to it. I didn't really get to destroy this book. Not that I want to on purpose, but I feel like this book got off the hook real easy. So for this example, say goodbye to Twilight. Yeah, I'm actually gonna put it to use in a good way. And to be able to pull off this next hack, you're gonna need your choice of food. What do you wanna be eating in class? What do you want for lunch? What do you want to keep you going throughout the class? So let's say you have Lunchables at home, right? Any kind of Lunchables. I like these ones better. And what I like about these is that they're, they're not as tall as, as these ones. So depending on your book of choice, you get your Lunchables. And I know you guys requested many times that I do a, a hack or a prank with Lunchables and here it is. We're actually gonna sneak in some Lunchables into class. Do you guys know where I'm going with this so far? Okay, well, we're gonna have to um, remove a lot of these pages. Pretty much all of them. Just keep it looking like this from the outside, but the inside is all gonna be hollowed out. Get your Lunchables box and place it in the center where you know you wanna place it and you're gonna have to trace it to make your cut out. All right guys, so get your measurements right so that you know where you're gonna be cutting. And yeah, this is gonna be so time consuming, but in the end, it's gonna be worth it. All right guys, so there you go. So it seems like the Lunchable will fit in just perfect. And that's where uh, our blade comes into play now. We're gonna have to hollow out the whole book it's not gonna be one page at a time depending on how sharp your blade is so hopefully this blade does its job correctly and it doesn't take too long but yeah guys i'm gonna cut it all out hollow it out and i'm gonna, we're gonna skip to the next step i finally did it i finally hollowed out most of the book i thought i was actually gonna do the whole book but i noticed that i didn't need to so I only did about half of it, which is the size about this uh, Lunchables box right here. Now, in order to get the Lunchables to fit in perfectly, we're gonna have to trim off the edges as well. And that'll actually open up the seal on top. So just be careful when doing this and just cut it. So all four sides. Now you can actually fit it inside like this. Get rid of the plastic cover. You keep it like this, this facing your teacher, right? like that hopefully no one's next to you on either end and you're in the back of the room that way it's easier for you to eat for example i'm just gonna dip in this uh chip in there but yeah guys you can actually uh, sneak in your whole lunch in class and then just uh, close it up and that's it guys you just snuck in the lunch but hopefully th this is like a last resort the last thing you need to do i hope you're not that hungry that you have to eat your whole lunch in class so what do you guys think though did you guys enjoy these uh, hacks right here i don't want you to go and do them and get in trouble because these are not meant for you to uh, break the rules in class i'm sure your teacher in class doesn't allow you to have food so you don't go and sneak food in there unless you have to unless you're really really hungry and if you end up doing one of these please you know do it at your own discretion do not attempt to get into trouble hopefully you won't have to do this every day or at all so wake up early and eat breakfast so you don't have to skip a meal so with that being said guys i like to thank you guys so much because guess what my channel just reached half a million subscribers yeah guys yeah we're, we're getting up there my channel has been growing so much over the last year and i owe it all to you guys 
guys, to my subscribers, to my followers, to all my fans, thank you so much. And then I hope you guys did enjoy these hacks. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends because you never know when you're gonna need these hacks. Thanks for watching. As you guys requested, here are five more easy pranks you guys can do for when you go back to class. Here I'm gonna replace this orange eraser with an orange crayon. For this one, you're gonna need a regular pencil like this one right here. You're gonna need a pencil grip. You're gonna fill it up with some shoe polish. So as soon as they press on it, it'll it'll start to uh, it'll start to leak and dump everything out. Now, as you can see, this balloon is just the perfect size that you can put inside the pencil cup, and just throw them in there, and this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, just like that, the balloon pops as soon as the scissors go in.